Good morning guys, today's vlog is just going to be one continuous clip um, and I'm going to upload it because I'm staying at one of my mom's friend's houses and vlogging out there would just be incredibly awkward so <laughs> I'm just vlogging in the bedroom um, and then I'll upload it but basically um, I'm here because she's going to take me to the airport in the morning. Um, my mom did get to come home today, which is really good. Uh, the minute she was able to just, like, get out of the hospital, you could kind of see her demeanor change. Um, so she came home, and, um, now I'm getting ready to head back to Florida. And I'm actually having a lot of anxiety about it. Um, the weather forecast for tomorrow is pretty much horrible. Um... 100% chance of rain with a chance of sleet and freezing rain. Um, they have Little Rock listed under one of the airports to be advised that there may be disruptions or cancellations. And just taking off in that kind of weather kind of reminds me of the terrifying flight I had in Dallas. Um, that flight, that vlog is called, I think, Terrifying Flight and Health Update. And it was back on October the 12th. And Knowing that I could encounter that kind or worse weather tomorrow honestly just makes me kind of um, panic a little bit because I had a panic attack on that plane. It was so bad. And so I think I debated about it for a while because I didn't really want to be the odd or weird one out. But I think I'm going to um, tell the flight attendants when I get home in Little Rock that, you know, this weather is really making me nervous. I had a bad experience in Dallas and just... I don't know, just that, I guess, um, but I, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting back to Florida, and I'm really looking forward to seeing Panda, and my dad, and my brother tomorrow, but I'm just, I'm not looking forward to the flying portion, um, once I get out of Little Rock, it should improve, because I go Little Rock to St. Louis, St. Louis to Raleigh, Durham, and Raleigh, Durham to Tampa, and Raleigh Durham is also listed under one of the airports to be cautious about, so that makes me a little bit nervous. Um, but St. Louis and Tampa should be all right. So, um, so I'm just, I like it's so bad. Like I don't even know how much sleep I'm gonna get tonight. Like I, I my friend, I've been texting him, and he's been amazing. And we're gonna Facetime later before I go to bed just to try to calm my nerves because I am really. Um, really incredibly anxious about those flights tomorrow um but you'll see that in tomorrow's vlog I'm gonna get this uploaded because I'm on LTE I don't want to uh to make this really long because I don't want to use a bunch of my data to upload it um but so sorry for the weird vlog today but it's just been a weird week um I am feeling a little bit better breathing wise than I was yesterday and I took some Tylenol, so my fever broke. So physically, I'm feeling a lot. I whistled. That was weird. Physically, I'm feeling a lot better, um, but mentally, I'm, I'm really stressed out. Um, but I'll deal with tomorrow's problems when I get to tomorrow, and I'll just try to enjoy the night. And she has a beautiful lakefront view at her house, so I was kind of enjoying that while walking back and forth. Um, so I'm gonna upload this, but I would appreciate some prayers for my flight tomorrow and just for safe travel. It didn't help when I saw the article that the Southwest plane, uh, hydroplane off the runway, that did not help. Um, but yeah, I appreciate prayers for a safe flight and uh, just hopefully by this time tomorrow I'll be safely in Tampa and uh, feeling a lot better. So thank you guys so much for coming along on this clip today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.